That was a much longer preparation period than I was expecting. I didn't think everyone would have stuff to say again, but of course, of course. Don't those look like snow cards? Now we gotta go all the way. Oh, we've been here before. Yeah, this is where we saw the Dreadwing. You're not gonna spawn right on top of me, are you? Okay, good. Weapons? Make a few more Berserk ones, because I can. Trip wires, get a few extra. Probably should have done this back at the base, but we're fine. Stagger beams packs. This one I haven't really tried before either, have I? Does it just trip people? Okay. 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 Okay, everyone. I'm at the rendezvous point. It's time to rescue Beta and Gaia. Understood, Aloy. We're on our way. Aloy. Where are the others? Not far behind. Egghead here couldn't stand traveling with the pack. Are we all here? Then let's begin. A tunnel. An ancient escape route from the ruins on the island. When I realized it ran all the way across the water, I, I thought it might prove useful to come and go undetected. So I concealed it from the others. Zeniths are all very paranoid. They don't trust each other. Shall we? Yo, that little bug just got in too. <laughs> I wish there was a less pungent way to get way inside the base. Agreed. There's the launch tower. That plane offers a little cover, so the only viable path is through there. There will be specters guarding it, and many more can be deployed from those hangars. All right. Alva, Catalo, get to it. Where are they going? Somewhere important. Erend, you're with me. You guys, take the high ground in case we need covering fire. Tactically sound, I suppose. What will she do? There's a sensor node nearby. If I hack into it, I should be able to scramble the network and keep you undetected. But not for long. Then we should proceed. One more thing. Open up the channel to beta. Audio only. Hey, boy. We're here, and we're coming for you. You know what to do, right? As long as you hold up your end. We will. See you soon. Be careful. Let's go. <clears throat> well, Tilda's not complaining. That's one good thing. Get to the launch tower as quickly as possible. I'll do my best to conceal our intrusion. Well, these are all dead already. Sorry, Erend. That's probably a little bit heavy to carry, huh? Let's go. Away, Aloy. Spectres ahead. Is that why these guys are all dead? The local fauna? Company. Follow my lead. That's what Keep I do. Using something other than shock ammo. 
Acid and plasma. We can try some of these arrows. We've hardly ever tried it. Because I'm so used to the Shredder Gauntlet these days. What? Oh, those are the wrong arrows, man. This'll help. Yeah. Oh, the status goes really fast. That's sweet. Get the fumes in your eyes. <gasps> I cannot believe it. Gets a blood flow, doesn't it? I cannot believe it. Trying to get the small spot sometimes results in the fight getting prolonged. Oh, relief. No, we don't want to do shock. Oh! I'm sorry, I forgot to do my Valor switches. Let's go with a Radio Blast. It seems to be working pretty well for... Actually, it wouldn't work well for these guys. But it would be a nice way to just... Get some breathing room. Oh my god. Dude, I'm falling off. Aaron, not now shock. Not shock, Aaron. Oh, look at that thing fizzing away. We should make use of the land around here as opposed to getting stuck in this one spot. I don't have stamina for that. And now's a good time to hit it. No! That didn't do anything. I think we got it. <laughs> I think you're right. Use a good bit of berries here. Not happy about that. Would be nice if we could restock a bit. That wasn't that great. Find anything? Yeah. We survived, but that's pretty much it. I think there's a cave up there that might get us through that ridge. Let's climb up to it. Mm-hmm. Give me a sec, all right. Yeah, all these frost bellowbacks, they were meant to be used. But they weren't they weren't weak against frost anyway. Oh, there was a a ravager cannon. Yeah, that's why you got to walk around so you can find these things to use in the middle of battle. Thank you very much. There's a cave here. Uh huh. We should move on. Yes, we should. Whoa. Sorry, my screen went black for a second. I couldn't see. What's in this backpack, metal bricks? Aloy, Alva and I are closing in on the regulator. Keep me posted. We good? It's creepy in here. Don't worry. I'll protect you. <laughs> yeah, I wish I had a glider. I guess I'll find another way across. Gonna be all right? Damn. What a jump. Machines on this island. We killed a great many when we landed here. I'm not really Their salvage may prove useful to you now. Sorry, Erin. Trying to carry multiple conversations at once. Ah, oh, the salvage. We'll pick it up if we need to. Another specter. Sneak or fight. You choose. Fight. We can get through these faster. Pick it up if you need it. Live long, kill your enemies. Kaboom! Aloy! Ammo! Aaron, attack! Get it, Get beaten, Asura. 
Hey, you wanna fight the Vanguard? Ooh. Aloy's under attack! Cover her! Firing! Ah. That's what he says. That was, that was a decent shot, I guess. Better than any Osaram. Thanks for the help. What's that stuff? Is that part of the Zenith stuff or just thousand year old military stuff because this used to be a um, military base? And there's the other Ravager cannon I could have used that I didn't. Tired yet? Yep. Yeah. Clear those weeds. Yeah, these working. plants are weird. weird. They are weird. Out of curiosity, where are we now? Okay, we're on the island. Hmm. So we didn't even have to break the shield then. But it'll do. We only have to worry about the shield of the people that we're trying to kill. We can take this one, Aloy. Keep moving. I'll help out. Who's next? There you go. Don't get that stuff on that you. Stormbird carcass should get us over the gap. I it's a Stormbird. But I guess uh, got dead ones handy enough. Completely rusted over. You guys got the Spectre? Yeah, you remember the good old days when our only worry was whether Meridian would be destroyed? You know, instead of a whole world? Oh, yeah. Good times. Yeah, suddenly the stakes went up by uh, a little bit. Just a little. Hmm. Uh, more spectres. I'll attack when you do. That's a, whoa, that's a lot more spectres than I expected. Hey, just here. Bottoms up. That acid ought to hurt it. And they went boom. That's a quick way to we can't knock down. parts off of this guy, I don't think, because it's not built the same way. Maybe we should be sneaking past some of these. The more time we spend here, the less chance of success. You know what? Okay, move, move. Walk. Don't jump, okay? Just walk over here. That's it. That's uh, sweet, but not enough. I should have done a few more. One sec. One sec, one sec, Aaron. You can you can lift yourself up. <laughs> and I'm back in the fight. <laughs> well, you're not weak against shock, but hey, it still helps. Oh, I can do multiple. Oh! My god, we should have been doing this earlier. Fantastic. Excuse me, I'm busy trying to loot some... Loot your friend here. Oh, we should be doing this more often. It knocks them out immediately. And again. Oh. oh my! Can get the resonator blast on it. I think that's all of them. Let's push on. Yeah, we should be a little bit more conservative about the berries. 
running out kind of quickly. Oh, there's my third Ravager Cannon that I could have used that I didn't. What is that? What did you knock out? Thunderjaw? Oh, it's a Thunderjaw. This launcher. We keep going up. Oh, I'm just kind of curious about this side because it looks like we can we can snap back over. But we don't want to go down, right? I don't think we do. Let's not waste time here. Let's go. Here. Up this rock. Oh, we have to go around. Can Aaron climb? Damn. We're gonna have to climb around this corner. Oh, I'm trying not to complain. I can see the way forward. Keep moving. Going as fast as we can. You all right? Sort of. Can we ignore that guy? Looks like the others have things under control. Ignore then. Oh man. How many spectres do the Zeniths have? More than we want to fight at once, that's for sure. Maybe not ignorable. If you're gonna stand right there, then I can't I can really ignore you. And just for applying the acid status, the arrows might be the quickest. To do some damage, the Shredder Gauntlet might be a little bit better. Come on, up the slab. Oh my, oh, oh! I accidentally dropped down because I didn't think you'd be able to make it. Alvin and I are in position. Do it. Blow the regulator. A moment while I ignite the charges. Are we going to see it? <sighs> Alpha and Catalo did their job. Now it's Beta's turn. Uh, Aloy? I think we're in trouble. Oh my- Whatever you plan to do to stop those specters, you better do it now. I'm not doing anything. Beta will. She just needs a little time. Time that we don't have. What is that? Whoa. Our army. Oh? I think you got their attention. Very clever. You had Beta inject Hephaestus into the base's printer matrix. Which is faster and more powerful than any cauldron. And now it can crank out machines to its heart's content. You guys only won before because you had a million specters against one machine. But now there's a million machines against millions of specters. But they've got to know we're here. Come on. Let's get to the launch tower before this whole place becomes a war zone. <clears throat> Your maneuver, as clever as it is, means that Hephaestus has escaped containment. It will no doubt flee back to the Cauldron Network. We grabbed it once, we'll get it again. Or we'll find a way to replicate its functionality, perhaps. With the Apollo database. We don't have the capacity to worry about so many things, although that th that is worrying. Are we gonna have to fight Hephaestus again? In Horizon 3. 
Well, we'll see. That a uh, big rock might give us a bridge to get up and through. Gotcha. Which big rock are you talking about? You want me? You want to just fall? That's not all. The specters are fighting our machines. Ah, because that would have made it nice and easy. Well, they should be. Where are they? We can ignore them. Azadam will make this go quick. <laughs> the entire sack just disappeared. Right in front of the specter. Two dudes here. Do we have to fight? Looking like a yes. Do it. You want a taste of this? Oh, freaking silent strike. I was trying to radio blast. Zoe and Baldi are fighting another Spectre up there. I think they can handle it. Oh, the hell? Oh, Aaron. Oh, Aaron. Oh, I can't revive you. I don't have time. Sorry. Hey, Aloy. Well, I can't rescue you if the machine's on me, so I'm trying to get this part figured out first. I grab it if you need it. I'm not sure if which this part is the. I know it's definitely got some weak spots somewhere. I just don't know where exactly. Me, yeah, sometimes the critical hits they do crazy damage. Okay, can we ignore that one? It's busy doing its thing over there. Well, how the hell do we. Oh, the big rock. Bye, Spectre. Big jump. To the right, I think. We're in a hurry. And now to the left. Yeah, but you never know, right? Just look around a little bit. Oh, very scenic, very scenic. Okay, done. Let's go. No time for sightseeing. You can get to the launch tower through the hangar up ahead. I'm heading over to join you now. The hangar's in bad shape, but I can see the way in. Hurry, Aloy! Let's go. Another one? By the blood of the ten! Wait, are you helping me? I gotta attack it, right? Pick it up. Regala! Here we go. Give me your best. There, she's vulnerable. Get the fumes in your eyes. Boom! Regala! Are you all right? Let's dent some metal. Erend, instead of giving me arrows, just shoot it, okay? Hit it. Can't beat Azaram for it. Good work, everyone. Good work, Let's go. Boy. Regala, don't get Oh, everybody's here. Everybody's here. Silence. This Can way. Silence even fight? A little bit? Kind of like Alva, I guess. <laughs> Here? That's... Whoa! Look at all this Zenith... space stuff. Yeah. Technology beyond our comprehension. Some other Sunwing. Poor thing. Ooh, it's all golden. <laughs> Whatever that material is. Come on, let's go! 
This way, demon! Oh! Oh! This is the death I was promised! Go! <laughs> Thank you, Regala. May Regala return peacefully to the cycle. Please. She cared nothing for peace. At least she died on her own terms, not as your puppet. Oblivion draws no such distinctions. That's cold. Are you sure you're not a Zenith? Hey, Lloyd. He only wishes. It's been intense, but Catalo got me to a network node. I'm trying to get in. Keep at it. We're almost to the tower. If the Zeniths actually said, Okay, silence, you can become a part of us, you think he wouldn't want to be one? Of course he would. The gold material that the specters also spew out sometimes, we don't know what it is. Ooh. God, none of this matters. Why am I picking it up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine people? Ah, now we know who's been causing all the fuss. Tilda's little pet. It's a lot more than we were. Silence. Zenith inbound. Can we drop their shields, please? I'm powering it up. Stay still. This is pointless! You can't hurt us. Can we get all nine at the same time? Face it. You're worms that ooze to the cracks into our basement. Silence? One moment more. But I might just spare you if you give up Tilda. I think it's safe to say she's forfeited her share of our operation. Permanently. Ah, uh, there. No? Nothing. Fine. All right, people. Light him up! Are we supposed to be scared? We should be. Ho ho! Silence! Good work! <sighs> Now! Now! Oh! oh. But they can still fly. Look at them. The moment anything goes wrong, Gerard and Eric just run. We can't let Gerard escape. It won't take long before he preps the shuttle for launch. Then he'll be able to take Beta and Gaia into orbit and onto the Odyssey beyond our reach. We gotta go through there? I failed to see another option. Then we'll carve a path. Ready? It looks like Tilda's shield is down too. Not really time to be thinking about it right now, I guess, but I wonder after being away from Earth for like a thousand years. Get to the top and secure Gaia. I'll stop Gerard. Stop. I'm still suspicious of her. After being away from Earth for a thousand years, can they even take in Earth's oxygen? Maybe what they need is not the same anymore. Gotta get to the top of the tower and free Beta. Aloy, we're. Time machine filth! Apologies. 
apologies for that. <laughs> We're okay. As long as all the hurries. I'm almost into the network. Just do the best you can. Hang in there, everybody. Far Zenith Repository. The stuff is still like our stuff, though. Oh. Okay, an elevator. Promising. <laughs> Rematch, buddy. We got some unfinished business, little girl. Hmm? Yeah. Oh. Hey, look, get up. He doesn't have a shield anymore. I don't need a shield to take you out. Trust me. You're gonna wish you had one. Oh, wrong thing, but sure. Would you like some acid arrows? <laughs> Should I scan you? Fire and ice. I'm not sure if I should bother with it though, just like how we were fighting Regala and it didn't really do too much to care about that. I'm taking you down! Okay, we gotta avoid those shots and then focus on firing when he's not firing. Whoa. I can't let him catch me. Well, there you go. I can't with my stamina this low. He's gonna eat in the middle. <laughs> Why don't we just try out the good old melee? I feel like I'm spending time doing a whole bunch of crap Not here. Your shield, are you? Oh, well, that's yeah. Oh, it did! Why did my arrow not fire? You're done for! Come on! Oh, the plasma. I guess sometimes I'm letting go too fast and my arrow just doesn't even come up. This is the end for you. Are you there? I'm on my way to help. Just need to find my way in there. Uh, come here at your earliest convenience, though. Good. Time to shut you up. It's actually kind of. Um, yeah, he keeps. The way he keeps bouncing me around is really annoying. Close. Yeah, the fire immediately went away. Watch you suffer. Doesn't stay long enough for me to. Come on, just one more hit. One more hit. We will take that. I honestly think I was doing better without it, though. Whoa, oh, come on. Ah! 
Oh, that's not gonna help. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm trying to find some health or like something I can take. Come down, come down. Forget it, forget it. Just melee. <laughs> the resonator blasts is where it's at, okay? Forget about all those arrow types or whatever. Okay. Same deal with Regala. Oh, I can go up there. Ah, we can run around a little bit. I see. I gotta make use of my surroundings. Finally! Finally his helmet's off. Oh, come on. That's not satisfying. Didn't get the last shot. I almost forgot what it was like to hurt. <laughs> Now we're having fun, right? You okay? I will be. In time. Go. Rescue your sister. I'll regroup with the others and make sure they're all right. Their armor is so easy to pierce through, even our tribal weapons, quote-unquote, defeated him. Maybe because they were overly reliant on the shield, though. They never thought that anybody could get through, so they just didn't wear too much armor. That was a little bit more annoying than fun. These human fights. I better take the lift. Looks like the machine's inspectors have almost wiped each other out. What was that? Aloy, Gerard just activated the self-destruct failsafe on the printing matrix. He's taking control of a number of systems. Including the lift? I'm afraid so. He's restricted its access to the top. You'll have to climb from there. I have to go. I almost have him. Say no more. I'm coming. Used to all this anyway, right, Aloy? Aaron, is everyone all right down there? Yeah, mostly. We're cleaning up the last few specters. What about the Zenith? Dead, I think. Izo told me you got Eric. Good work. Yeah. Thanks. I guess only Tilda and Gerard are left then. Aloy, you there? Listen, I got into the network, but only for a minute before I was shut out. I found a bunch of flight plans and trajectories, as if the Zeniths were planning to leave Earth. Doesn't make any sense. Oh I no. Know, but there's more. The files I found have a lot of references to something called the Nemesis. Whatever it is, the Zeniths are afraid of it. Alva? Alva! What's going on here? M maybe Beta can help me figure it out. Oh god, I don't even know what's happening, but I, I get the feeling this is the one thing that we don't even know we didn't know. I don't know what it is, but I don't like the sound of it. They were leaving? Weren't they coming back so that they could conquer Earth? Why are they leaving? If they were gonna leave, why are we having this fight? Tilda. God, for a second, I almost believed her. I had a bad feeling when she's like, Oh yeah, okay, I'll, uh, I'll go get Gerard. But then she was still talking about how she almost had him. But now I'm not so sure anymore. But even Beta doesn't know anything about this Nemesis thing then? Well, she didn't have access to a lot of systems. Maybe that's why. Uh, Aloy. 
<gasps> what is happening? Aloy! I'm sorry. There is a lot of falling going on here. Let's just climb normally, quickly. Have a moment to still our hearts. I'm coming, Beta. These 20 seconds could be the difference between saving Beta and not Eloy. Wait, what do we do here? Oh, we just go back. Yo, why is that so low poly in the back there? What is going on with that pattern? Oh, this is complicated. There's so much yellow here. I don't even know what to climb. Nemesis. Okay. Look, I know you've been through a lot, but you have to help me access the Zenith network. I need to see their files, anything referring to the word Nemesis. Okay. O over there. Systems are down all over the base. I should be able to take advantage of... Yes, Nemesis. Here. There's something in deep space. It's following the Zenith to Earth. What? That's why they ran away from Sirius. Look. Escape vectors. Alva tried to warn me about this. The Zeniths aren't planning to stay here. It's a machine of some kind. O or a swarm of them. The energy readings are... astronomical. Aloy, I don't think a natural disaster destroyed the Zenith colony on Sirius. This thing did. Though the lied. Earth isn't a new home for them. It's a way station. They're on the run. What? So they brought over this thing to Earth then. Thanks, guys. I see you've been busy. And you've been lying. Nemesis, what is it? It is us. The minds of Far Zenith. Or failed copies of them, anyway. Copies? Back on Sirius, some of my peers weren't satisfied with physical immortality. They wanted digital transcendence. A way to upload their minds into any form, organic or mechanical. Nemesis was a failed experiment to that effect. Abandoned, but never erased. An immense database of our memories, emotions, and prejudices left to fester. And it destroyed your colony? We didn't realize it had gained sentience until it broke containment. It had everything it needed from our memories. Security protocols, system specs, override codes. It hacked everything before we knew what hit us. Then it took over our printing facilities, allowing it to gain any machine form it needed to wipe us out. But why? Imagine being trapped alone for decades with only the twisted echoes of megalomaniacs for company. It hates us for abandoning it to that prison. And now that it's free, it will do anything to destroy us. 
including denying us a safe harbor on Earth. The extinction signal that woke Hades. You didn't send it. Nemesis did. Finally, you understand. What? And when that failed, it launched from Sirius to finish the job itself. Oh my god. Which is why we must flee to a random planet circling a random star somewhere it can never find us. With Gaia, so you can build yourself a new world. That's the plan. Even out. Earth is finished, Aloy. Nemesis will scour it of life to deny its creators a viable home. But Elizabeth's dream won't die. You'll come with me to the stars. And with Gaia, we'll create a new world together where that monstrosity could never find us. What? No. I loved Elizabeth more than you could ever know. And I let her stay behind to die with the rest of humanity. A mistake I have regretted for a thousand years. Now she stands before me again. Not some inferior copy. Hey! But her best possible self. So I'm not asking. You're coming with me. It may seem harsh now, but you'll forgive me in a few centuries. You can't force me, Tilda. Your shield is gone. I have something better. Spectre Prime, to me. It just hey, materializes? Thurman Aloy, you can't win. No. What? Uh, I've heard that before. Okay, this is the last I thing. I you didn't truly want to hurt me. Do some damage. I better scan that thing first. Yeah, that's the last scan we were missing. I thought I didn't scan something, but no. As it turns out, we we just didn't see it. Okay, we should use the shredder gauntlet here. I think. This is like a Gundam. Oh, that thing's fast. It's fast, but is it fast enough? Why am I always so damn low on stamina? Give it up! Oh, I can target its gold plating. I can't- I don't have enough time to highlight the parts properly, so I just gotta focus every now and then and hope that I get it. Oh god, I thought it was a little bit too easy up until now. Eric was not a great last boss. You cannot. Oh, I don't have time to think about anything. Tilda is the last Zenith, if we can defeat her. But we still have a problem! Nemesis! Hey, does Nemesis hate humans or just Zeniths? Oh, I don't have enough materials, man. Surely nothing is worth this pain. I I don't have enough materials. Oh god. We need... Toughened. If we can even activate it. Should have equipped this a while ago. I gotta hit those gold plates. It's powering up! Keep running, keep running.
Like those gold plates or the highlighted plates? I'm hanging here. I'm hanging on by a thread. Yeah, that gold plate. Is this where you want to end your journey? Why is my stamina not coming back? I can't drink it. Is this really what you want? There. Much better. Well, that did something. Very pathetic. One arrow at a time. It's using those gold plates to power its attacks. Yeah, I'm trying to get rid of them. The acid, I don't even know. I've seen your life, Aloy. It should not be lost. I got a little bit too flustered. I completely forgot about the... Um, yeah, we should be focusing more on the elemental stuff. I was so focused on surviving, I... Woo, okay. We don't have many materials coming into this fight. That's the um, the main issue here, I think. Sticks and stones against the lightning. Do some damage. Can we tear blast it off? Before we even worry about weaknesses. No powering up attacks. You can only endure so much. Armor's off. All of it? Jeez. Oh, that thing's fast. God, I really hate this. Engage thrusters. Radio Blast one time, maybe. I should aim for the gold plates. Oh! What is that? What is that? Can we use it? It's stuck on top of that thing. I can't... Fight on and you will lose. I, I get the feeling we're supposed to be able to use it, but I don't think we can reach it. Have I gotten all of them off? Target lock! Oh! This is good, this is good, this is good. I cut that thing's armor. Very good, very good. I'm trying to build up the plasma. Don't make me hurt you! Full plasma. Feeling better. Gonna switch back to the Toughen Valor. Oh. I'll shut you down. Oh. Yeah, those floating thingies. This specter was designed to survive against more than that. Oh, is it like regenerating the gold? We gotta go, we gotta go. Sticks and stones against the lightning. Oh 
my goodness. He's juggling me around. I can endure. You cannot. The most annoying thing about fighting a big machine. Elemental ammo is making a dent in those gold plates. This won't work, Tilda! Is how whenever it hits me, I get knocked down for like a full five seconds and I can't get up and I'm just stuck there doing nothing while it juggles me. What are you doing? What on earth are you doing? There we go, there we go. I knew you didn't truly want to hurt me. What the hell are you it's talking about? Up. Now what? Is there more stuff I can... Ask yourself why you're holding back. Oh, it's quick. There, got its armor. Hold on, hold on. It's in the back. It's doing something in the back. Yeah, it's got some more. Definitely got a few more. You're not gonna beat me! Execute attack! Pattern Zeta! Pattern Zeta? Well, that did something. No! Oh. I gotta move. Oh. Sticks and stones against the lightning. I'm just tearing oh. random things off. Oh. Oh. Yeah, the little shock thingy maybe is my best bet. Plates are vulnerable to elemental ammo. I'm not going with you. The gold plates? I am the only way you get to live, Aloy. And the acid. An acid. So I should still use elemental ammo? Even though it's already covered in acid? Is that what you're trying to teach me? Sorry, I'm not very perceptive. Okay, the whole thing is covered in acid, so I can barely I see. I you didn't truly want to hurt me. Oh my god. You fought well. Going with her to a new planet, I can save myself. But it's like the antithesis of Aloy as a person. A few more hits. I know, I know I'm trying. Don't have enough stamina. I can endure. You cannot. Oh my god! Oh! That was so close. That's over. Why couldn't you just let me choose? If Tilda said, okay, Aloy, you, you get to go, but I'm gonna leave now, I don't know if that would have worked either. She's the one bringing all this crap here.
as she tried to take you. And she told you about Nemesis. So you've known all along? From Hades, yes. Along with data on how to circumvent the Zenith shields. From Nemesis? Everything I did to create the Rebel Army was based on that knowledge. To reach this place, this moment. And you couldn't just tell me? Come now, Eloy. You're the last person to act sensibly in the face of impossible odds. When I learned of Nemesis from Hades, I saw the pieces on the board and how to play them. And in that same moment, I knew it was a game you would never play. That you would interfere and attempt to save the Tanakht. I was correct, to a point. You ruined my plans, but brought your own to fruition. The end result is the same. We're here. Now what? And now it's time for me to leave this doomed planet behind. To seize the Odyssey and the Apollo database and begin a new chapter in my pursuit of knowledge, one with infinite possibilities. You can join me if you so desire. You've more than earned your place. Unlike Tilda, I'm extending a polite invitation. You're going to just take off and abandon everything? Stay. Help me fight that thing. Perhaps Tilda didn't adequately define the threat. Nemesis can't be stopped. It destroyed a highly advanced Zenith colony in a matter of hours. What hope does this primitive tribal Earth have? If you brought Gaia, you wouldn't be abandoning life. You'd be saving a seed for a new world. Just as Elizabeth did. It's the choice she made. The sacrifice of all that is for the hope of what might be. If she were here in your place, she would board that shuttle, Aloy. I don't think so. If she would have boarded, she would have become a Xena. Found her. Is she hurt? Still on her feet. Thank the Ten. Goodbye, Silence. She looks okay. She looks victorious. Don't know about that. As always. Eloy. You did it. Oh. Silence. Yes! Hey, where's she going? As far away as anyone can go. Oh. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes! You're staying. For a time. You people are going to need all of the help you can get. Ah! Uh, does anyone else need a drink? Not if it's that ale of yours. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'd be fine with a nap. Excellent idea. Zo, you said the ale was okay before. Uh, I hope it's really over this time. Tell them tomorrow. Not now. Ah, oh, but because Silence has always been so damn annoying, he's willing to stay and that's... Oh, it's like catharsis. Dealt with one problem, now we got the next. There's another battle ahead, Elizabeth. Very different than the one you fought. It's not about the distant hope of creating a new world. 
It's about preserving the one we have. My friends have a new mission. To spread the word and ask for help. They've taken it in stride. I think it's because they've always known what I've only just started to understand. That the people of this world have the strength to fight any battle. The ingenuity to solve any problem. The courage to overcome any obstacle. And the resilience rise after any setback. As for me, I can't say I'm not afraid. What lies ahead will be harder than anything we've faced before. But I know I can put the fear aside. Because for the first time in my life, I feel like I'm not alone. We're only missing one. Oh, wow. They are really upping the stakes. This is so open-ended. Where is anything gonna go from here? Nemesis. It's like a shapeless AI, basically. Can I move here? No, this is scripted. Oh my god, I don't even... I'm just trying to take it in. I'm very happy Silence decided to stay. Hopefully this... Yeah, because after going through the Forbidden West, we're learning... All of us. All of us are learning to um, band together, combine our strength. Something that a lot of my friends already knew to begin with, but for Aloy and Silence, well, now we know. Now we know. It's exactly like what they say about starting a business. Starting a business is easy, but maintaining a business is harder. And same thing with the world, and oh my gosh. I'm glad to see Beta is still with us. Very glad. Tildum, the Zeniths. We have so much knowledge open to us now. Because of the Zenith base and all their technology just lying around. Immortality. Can we achieve physical immortality based on the records the Zenith left behind? What does the Nemesis even really want? Well, they want the destruction of the Zeniths, right? But they're all gone already, so can you just let us go? I don't know what their plan was. Like, Tilda, Tilda and Silence were saying, we'll just run away and start a new world again, but... How can you run away forever? You're immortal. Nemesis immortal. There is no such thing as being able to stay away until the end of time. Definitely, this is definitely an ending that makes you excited for the next game. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, they just keep upping the stakes. So, next time, oh my god, wow. You know what, we had a lot of ups and downs in the story. Some parts were better than others, but overall, by the end here, I'm just... Whoa, mind blown. <laughs> Nemesis. It sounds like Aloy has sent her friends out to... To do what? Enlist help? Really make all the tribes unite as one? Hmm. Wow, these credits are so cool. Are we gonna fly through the entire Forbidden West? Let's sit here and listen for a while. has grown so somber These words don't seem like mine But the iron won't subside No matter, no matter what I try If 
a really pretty song. It reminds me of the first time we heard it back when we were leaving for the Forbidden West and how we ditched Varl on purpose but he still came to help me out. That's what friends are for. If they're in trouble we gotta go help them, right? And I'm glad that by the end here, Aloy has learned that as well. Okay. So usually when I play a shorter game, I try to save the bulk of my like thoughts on the overall stuff at the end. But when I play longer stuff like Horizon, just by the nature of the game being so long, by the time we get here, I feel like I've already said the bulk of the things that I want to say. Overall, the nutshell version is that I really enjoyed Horizon 1, so I'm very glad to say that I also enjoyed Horizon 2 a lot. The quests, I feel like um the quality of the side quests are generally really high. I still remember one of the first quests that we came across when the world started opening up. It was those two guys who were trapped inside that flooded mining place. And the impression I got from the, the cutscenes and the, the graphic wall quality is that just because a quest is a side quest doesn't mean that they put any less work into it. Most of the time, unless if a... Well, you know something is part of the main story because it talks about the zeniths, right? But without that factor, I feel like the side quest and the main quest, it's not all that different which is great from an um, immersion perspective. Mm -hmm. I definitely got the sense that various types of people lived in this world, and they all have various types of problems. And another thing that I thought that they did really well was if you do a quest or you do some action that affects some region or some people, if you come back later on, they'll show that change. I don't think I've ever had to worry about stuff like, hey man, how come your dialogue didn't update? I did this thing already and you're still talking about stuff in the past, unless if it's a bug. So that's really, really great. Stuff that really makes it feel like, um, again, the world is alive. And that really like super groundbreaking thing they did before. Oh my god. Using characters from two separate quests, and then in the third quest, they come together. Della and Boomer, and the three Osirum guys. Abaddon, specifically. It's such a small thing, but it's really cool to see how people that you've met interact with other people, and it's not its not like people exist for the sake of Aloy to talk to them. They're off doing their own things while you're not paying attention, and their stories will go on as we go on throughout the world too. And then of course, graphically speaking, aside from the whole shimmering issue they had on the performance mode, 
Impressive. Extremely impressive. PS5, next gen, blah blah blah. Although, I guess PS5 is this gen now, it's not next gen anymore. It looks great. No complaints there. And then now we can move on to the stuff that maybe... Mm, could use a little bit of improvement. Yeah, content of the story aside, we'll talk more about the story ending, like what we just saw with the whole Nemesis stuff again in a little bit here. I feel like, yeah, I'm happy about the narrative and the story stuff, but gameplay-wise, I don't want to be too strong about this point because I don't actually remember how Horizon Zero Dawn was anymore, but the first few hours of booting up Forbidden West kind of got the sense that the gameplay was pretty similar to Zero Dawn, and not in a, hey, if it's good, then why fix what's broken kind of way, but in like a, if this game, if you told me that this game came out six months after Zero Dawn and not like a few years, I would believe you because it feels like there wasn't really much innovation going on. The first one had those really strange like microtransaction-y, but not actually microtransaction-y, loot crate mechanics, so they got rid of it. Okay, that's great. Now what? I still really enjoy the whole, like, shooting off components off a machine sort of mechanic. That's really, really cool to me still. But, um, maybe not specifically about the attacking or, you know, fighting parts, but stuff like climbing or how we talked about this before, how in the world it doesn't seem like it's a dynamic world because we don't run into any random events that are in any way meaningful, really. Don't get me wrong, the side quest content is great, but if it's not a side quest, if you're just wandering throughout the world, aside from the beautiful cinematic views, the question marks alone are not enough. All those metal flowers, all those fire gleams, there's only been like two data pads that we found behind it. To the point that I can actually remember which ones. Yeah, behind the metal flower one, it was the one where we found the, the guy was talking about space mining, and then the fire gleam one was back in next to Chain's grave when someone was talking about donating to the Sons of Prometheus. And I remember these well, because these are kind of interesting things, right? But without these sorts of things, every metal flower, every fire gleam is the same. Witcher 3, Red Dead Redemption 2, examples of games that did open world better. And these games came out quite a few years ago already. So it feels like, why, why does Horizon 2, a game coming out in 2022, not have something similar? I feel like if this was the first entry in a new IP, I probably wouldn't care as much, but because it's not, I want to see them push the envelope in like every single way possible. Graphics, beautiful. Facial animations, super damn awesome. Story, well this is gonna be a little bit more subjective depending on which story you liked more. But then gameplay here, it just feels like eh, not quite at the same level as the other departments. I'm gonna guess that these things are partially a resource problem, because as we noted earlier in the playthrough, it did feel like they probably could have used a few more months of brushing up the game, getting the blast bits of polish in. But it also is like um like a game design philosophy thing. If you don't plan for it from the beginning, then you just won't have it. I mean, no matter what Horizon 3 looks like, I'm still gonna play it, but if they could pay a little bit more attention to this area next time, that would make me very, very happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's uh, that's my main thoughts on, I guess, the whole game, the game as a whole. Now back to the whole ending that we saw here. Yeah, like I said, I don't even know where this is gonna go. Obviously, we're gonna be dealing with Nemesis, but how much knowledge and technology are they gonna let us keep of what we found with the Zeniths? Because that is a really big deciding factor on what's gonna happen from now on. Are we also gonna be able to attain immortality? I don't get the impression that's gonna be the case. But what about stuff like space travel or just industrialization? Can we build Las Vegas again? Can we have computers? It feels like these things might be within reach and that's really scary too because those things breed conflict. But what we're doing now is it's going to be Earth against Nemesis. Are we going to be able to rally everyone together? How much time until Nemesis gets to Earth? That's going to be a really big issue too. Do we have years or is it going to be another, hey, Earth is going to end in six months kind of deal? No rest for Aloy at all. None whatsoever. I'm back here. So that we can continue doing side quests, right? Congratulations on defeating the far Zenith threat. You are now free to continue exploring and complete any unfinished quests and activities. 
You can also start new game plus. Mm hmm. Thank you for playing. There's a little bit more. Maybe one day I'll head back to the sacred lands and see Sona again. Tell her what her son accomplished and how brave he was. Maybe one day. Don't you feel like you should go back anyway to let her know? Wow, I guess the credits we really threw flew through the locations or something. All the, the little things are popping up. Is that pretty much it? Can we talk to people around here? Beta! Oh my god, I'm completely out on supplies. Entirely. That was um Pretty damn epic fight. Hey. What are you up to? I'm getting a head start on looking for ways to temporarily stabilize the biosphere. We may not have a Festus, but I'm sure we can come up with something. That's who we were missing. Hephaestus is missing yet again. If Hephaestus teams up with Nemesis, oh my god. <laughs> Don't even think about it. They really want to... Um, yeah, something's gonna happen again there, I guess. I paid Brawl's grave a visit earlier. Back in Gemini, he... He tried so hard to protect me. He was my first friend. I still can't believe he's gone. Me too. Everyone's off negotiating and making friends so that we have more people, allies, for the upcoming fights. So... Nemesis. I had a lot of theories on what destroyed the Zenith colony on Sirius, but... a twisted amalgamation of uploaded Zenith brain scans was... definitely not one of them. And now it's headed for Earth. Yeah. Maybe we can talk. But the Zenith weren't... In the end, they never really became, um, they were always on the back of our minds, but other than Tilda, nobody was really individually important or special. Be careful out there, Aloy. When the Zenas forced me to work on merging Hephaestus, it was, well, um, it was really pissed off. Capturing it again, it's not going to be easy. We'll find a way. It's so against it. It's good to be back, Aloy. Good to have you back. It's good to be back, Aloy. What on earth? Oh, God, no. It's so quiet now. So I guess Alva's staying. At least until the fight's really done. Because it's not done yet. Otherwise, is it just mega quiet here now? Everybody's out. This needs updating. Oh, what about Gaia? We can talk to Gaia. like school's out for summer vacation. No one's here. Ah, take that crap off the wall. Tilda. She thought she could lock me away on her ship. Like one of the paintings in her mansion. A thousand years of regret. And she still didn't get it. You know, when Aloy defeated Tilda, I got the impression that she really pitied her. Instead of saying something like, ha, serves you right, or, oh, I finally beat you, she said, why couldn't you just let me choose? Tilda was interesting. I would have loved to get to know her more. And we could have, but we didn't. I think that's sort of the, um, the sad part, too, because she's the one who brought about her own destruction. Gaia, are you back? First of all, anything different about this place? Not really. 
well, this is not foggy anymore. Hmm. Okay. Regala's gone. Not sure if she really deserved it, but she got her honorable death, and she really didn't betray me all the way until the end. Wow, good thing we did the whole machine strike game with Eren beforehand, huh? And the drink! Now everyone's gone. They only let me come back here so we can finish up the rest of the stuff. Well, that's okay. Beta, you and me, we can have a girls' night out or something. Gaia? Oh, so good to see you back. It is good to see you. No kidding. Everything okay, Gaia? Yes, it is good to be home. Although my heuristic matrix will take some time to reinitialize, I must ensure that all Zenith code has been purged from my systems. Good idea. Take as long as you need. Are we going to be able to fix the biosphere with Hephaestus back out in the wild? With its escape to the Global Cauldron Network, Hephaestus has resumed its operations and increased its security protocols. I am already formulating options to recontain it. Additionally, I will utilize the capabilities of my remaining subordinate functions and make every effort to stave off collapse of the biosphere. I am certain it will gain us some time. Sounds good. Reinitialization in progress. I will inform you when it is complete. I thought we were gonna have like a long talk, but no. Reinitialization in progress. I will inform you when it is complete. Okay. All right. We don't even get to go back to Meridian and talk to Avad. Cause I know back then we definitely had like um like in the first scene of the game, that was a different map. And because there was a map, I thought we'd get to go back there eventually. But maybe not here. Not yet. Hephaestus revisited. So we unleash Hephaestus on the Zenith printer matrix to whip up an army of machines to fight the Spectres. And it worked. Great. But doing so meant we had to release Hef back into the wilds, where it'll continue to be a major problem. Not so great. A little analysis slash prognostication. Bad news first. Hef will undoubtedly retreat back to the Cauldron Network, and it will undoubtedly attempt to fulfill the same malignant mission it has pursued since gaining sentience, protect the terraforming system from predation by manufacturing combat machines to kill human hunters. Yeah, that makes sense, because in Horizon 3, we still gotta fight machines and we gotta have a reason for why the machines are fighting us. Even worse, it'll probably be stronger than ever before. Contact with the Zenith network will likely have supercharged it, giving it access to new technologies, tools, and upgrades. And because it can learn and rewrite itself, there's no way it'll fall for the same trick that defeated it before. So recapturing it at Cauldron Gemini is a non-starter. But there are some silver linings. Even though the merge with Gaia was aborted, she was able to copy over some of the original Hef codebase. On top of that, Silence has extracted some extremely helpful data from the Zenith copy of Apollo. That's right, we have all of humanity's knowledge at our fingertips now, oh my god. Combined, these developments should enable Gaia to exert significantly more influence over the terraforming system. She won't be able to take direct control of machines or stop Hef from building combat units, but she estimates that by deploying a variety of workarounds, she can stabilize the biosphere within a year. So we won't all die, at least not before Nemesis arrives. Oh, great. In addition, since she now has some of Hef's source code, we should be able to develop new strategies to contain it. It'll take time, of course. But round two is coming, Hef. And next time, I'll be ready for you. Beta. Get a small reprieve now. That's pretty much it. Silence. Why are you still here? I'm surprised you're staying in the base. Thought you'd slink away to one of your workshops. The capabilities of this facility are adequate for now. Well, make yourself at home, I guess. So you finally got what you always wanted. 
Yes. All the knowledge of the Apollo database at our fingertips. At long last. Once Gaia removes the last traces of Zenith code from it, that is. We're entering a brave new world, Aloy. You'd best be ready for it. Hmm, <laughs> did you get that from your old world readings? Hephaestus will undoubtedly design new and deadlier machines now that it's returned to the Global Cauldron Network. And we still need it to permanently fix the biosphere. Perhaps there's another way, courtesy of Apollo. Time will tell. Well, let's work together and not backstab each other all the time then, okay? Found anything we can use against Nemesis? I picked up a thread that may lead to a greater tapestry, but it will require more research. I will share my findings in due time. Okay. I'm sorry to bother you. I have work to do, Eloy. Okay. Nobody's here because they're all off back in their own places. Wonder if it'll be worth looking around at some of the places, like the settlements that we've been to. I'll try. If there's anything interesting, I'll let you know. Laurel. We did it, Varl. We stopped the Zeniths. We saved life on Earth. Well, for now, at least. There's another threat coming. I don't know how we're gonna beat it. But... We'll face it together. All of us. Rest easy, my friend. I'll visit again when I can. That's a spirit, Aloy. Everybody all together. What in the world? There's no way I would have missed that before. There's a settlement. Back over here. There's no way. What is that? Like an entire actual settlement? It's not even just a question mark. Oh, I could hear some... Green shine somewhere, but it's all right. Wow, it's been so long since we've been back here, bodies and all that. But look, right over there. What do we got this is the border between. Yeah, this is the most border, mo most border, border most settlement between the Karja and the West. Longest guard duty ever. Last log. Be welcome, Outlander. You're far from home, Nora. Something like that. Are you really telling me I just missed this entirely before? Even when I was sweeping the question marks? Really? Oh my god, I must have. What? Yeah, you're giving me really crappy really? stuff. There's nothing you want? What? I swear this wasn't here before. Maybe I oh wow, it's <laughs> Well, we got it now. <laughs> this would have been nice to run into earlier. But there's no quest associated with this place. It's just the place. Greetings. I guess so. Oh wow. All right. Yeah. That's pretty much that. Oh, no, no, we've been here before, but it wasn't a settlement. I distinctly remember running on that line. Yeah, when we first came here, it was just a scrap pile. It wasn't last log. Yeah, 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 I, I remember. Do you remember? I distinctly remember running on this. And it feeling really weird because you're not really supposed to be able to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice to revisit it again, I suppose. Braving the wilds as always, Aloy? Zo. So. <laughs> Aloy, it's good to see you. Plainsong seems to have changed its tune. As our fields thrive, so do my people. That's good to hear. How are things going with the chorus? Slow. Convincing the chorus to take any sort of action regarding Nemesis won't be an easy task. But the Utaru know what you've done for them. 
With some time, I know I can rally support to our cause, whether the Chorus likes it or not. I'm sure you know how to handle them. Yeah, we single-handedly restored the, the fields. Without our help, you wouldn't have been able to continue living here. So I really hope they value that and want to help us willingly. Soon we'll have a new harvest to celebrate. <laughs> Gone are the days of waiting for death to find us. Now is the time to come together and fight. Where once there was blight and sorrow, now there is plenty. Where once there was mm. blight and sorrow, now there is plenty. Good. Good. Yara? Thank you for helping me rescue the child. I haven't had to kill anyone recently, so that's something. Oh, this isn't... Maybe I can avoid it the next time a rival pops up. Yeah, this isn't particularly related to Endgame. This is just me not having come back here since we saved the kid, I guess. The boy's family was grateful, and his squad cheered your name. Well, I'm glad to hear. I think Katalo or Chief Akaro might be coming to talk to you soon about, you know, supporting our cause. Thank you for helping me rescue the child. You're welcome. No, that's not there she is. Can't be hey. This is serious. Did you hear what happened at the embassy? Your health is my So, Las Vegas. How's it going? I've been talking with Moreland about how to get the word out about Nemesis up in the claim. The Asaram are free folk. It'll be hard to get them to work together. But him and me, we know a lot of people. We get enough of them riled up, the elder men will have to listen. If anyone can make it happen, it's you guys. We were making friends all across these tribes too. If we had a bunch of Karja friends but no Tanakh friends, then that would be useless. We can get the support of, you know, maybe just the Oslo room, but everybody else. But no, because we do have the support of almost every clan here. And Avad is a given. Avad is a given, so the cards are okay. We're starting off at a pretty good place for getting support. Aloy, come to see an old friend. Oh, I <laughs> nearly didn't see you for a second. You blend in perfectly with a wall. Hey, how does it feel to be back with the tribe? It's an adjustment. I'd gotten used to your base and your comrades. But I've spoken to Hikaru about Nemesis. The clan commanders are next. My hope is that the entire tribe will be behind you when the time comes. Thanks, Katalo. That means a lot. The Tanakh, I think they look up to me quite a bit. So that's gonna help. Well, Katalo, I never really got to see you use your arm. That's a bit of a shame. Yeah, the last mission would have been nice to... I wasn't paying attention, though. Were you using it then? You should have been. Thank you for helping me with my new arm. That you're not using? <laughs> the other Tanakh look at my new arm with apprehension. I like it. <laughs> my new arm is strong, but I don't always need it. I wonder how it connects to him. Thank you for helping me with my new arm. You're very welcome. Landfall welcomes you, Aloy. Everything okay? Alva. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah. Hey, Alva. Thank you for sticking around. I know it couldn't have been easy to stay when most of the Quan went home. I came to this land to find a way to save my family. I can't go back yet. Not with what's coming. I told Bohai about Nemesis, and I gave him a new focus. Oh. Are you sure we can trust him with it? I know he'll probably find a way to twist it to his advantage with the other overseers back home. But once Gaia is completely up and running again, we might be able to set up a network so that we can stay in contact. Maybe I'll even get to speak to my sister. And he said he would petition the Emperor to send us aid. Do you think the Emperor will listen? To be honest, I don't know. But I hope so. Yeah, if we restrict, if we don't give Bohai the focus, I feel like we'd be committing the exact same sin, so to say, that the Quen have been doing the whole time, by not sharing knowledge freely. Okay, he might try to make it, he'll spin it and say, Oh, it was me! I discovered everything! Everything belongs to me, but hey. 
knowledge spreading. Guess this is home for now. Can't be a bad thing. You know, I kind of miss the base. All the data to look through, and the others, of course. But at least we have our focuses to keep in touch. You're welcome to come back and visit any time. We lost so many ships on the way here. I hope the flotilla has a safer journey home. When Nemesis comes, I'll be right there with you, Aloy. Thank you. We lost so many ships on the way here. I hope the flotilla has a safer journey home. And I hope your family back home is okay too. But we did our best. We did all that we could for now in trying to make sure everyone is all right for the moment. Last but not least, why don't we end off with Moreland here? I remember I was going to come back for another ride. Great gears, Aloy. The world beneath us. It's so grand. It is. Oh, I never thought I'd see the day. This is the world we saved. The ancient city from up here, it's so vast. Imagine all the people who came here in its heyday. Well. You know, it occurs to me I should have written a manual for flying this contraption. I believe I've gone to all the main settlements now, and I think that's all the people that we're going to find around here. Which means we're probably going to leave off after reading about the last Machine. Spectre Prime. Oh my god, it's a freaking Gundam. The ultimate Far Zenith Exoframe. It can morph into multiple forms, while gold armor-like plates can become devastating, devastating weapons and gravitationally reattach when torn off. Yeah, that's what was happening. I wasn't really paying too much attention in the middle of the fight, but when you shoot it off, it comes back. So you just gotta keep shooting it off. Siege Mortar. Hmm. Well, it's never easy saying goodbye to something I've been playing every single day nearly for several months now and what amounts to be over 120 videos, but all good things come to an end and here, among the skies, where we can see the beauty of the world, the world that we saved, the world that we'll continue to preserve, what better place to end off than here? Especially with Poseidon being probably my favorite mission in this story too. The way we went through all that, and then by the end we saw the holograms light up the night sky. Nothing quite like it. But thematically speaking, I chose a day ride especially to end off at, and not a night ride because I feel like we're saving the world and it's a bright world, the bright future that we want to save, not, not the night skies. Not just the night skies. So there you go. Well, with that said, this was Wellens with a full playthrough of Horizon Forbidden West. Whether it's your first video watching me, or a 122nd video watching me, or whatever in between, or even more. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really gonna miss this. And I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed playing it. And I will see you all, hopefully, back here for Horizon 3. Alright, I'll see you all in another place, in another time. Bye!